Hello folks, today I'm going to be delving back into the world of Twisted by Demented Games. This time I'm going to be taking a look at the Guild of Harmony. Okay, so today I'm going to be taking a look at the Guild of Harmony. So this is set one. There are two starter sets for each faction in Twisted. And here you can see what you get inside. So all of the relevant character cards to play Albert, Tinkerbell, Ackroyd, Dorothy, Maria, Puppets, Zara, Alice, and the White Rabbit. You get a bit of history about each one, what they are. And then inside the box, you get the pack of cards. We get the bags. So I won't be going through these all, but what I will do is I'll grab one out, take a closer look. So here we have Maria. So she comes with a 30 mil lipped base. Lovely detailing. Her uh, parrot headed umbrella. There's a bit of a straighten out there. She appears to be taking off from a, uh, it looks like a, a pot there, but I'm assuming that's a chimney pot rather than a plant pot or bowl, carpet bag, lovely quilted detailing, and then the uh, spinning whirling two-piece umbrella. So it's an open spiral, I suppose. Give her that up, up and away. So that'll be interesting to build. So yeah, we'll build them all and we'll come back and have a look at them then. I'm also going to take a look at one of the collector's edition because they do them all in metal and resin. Um, so just to compare and contrast the details, I thought I'd have a look at the Guild of Harmony's Zandi at the same time. So I'll be back in a moment with these built. Okay, so I have the Guild of Harmony built. Um, so the guild consists of Alice and her white rabbit. We have Albert and Maria Poppets, Jim Chimney, Ackroyd, Zara Craft, Tinkerbell, Dorothy, and then I also have the collector's version of Zandi. So let's take a look at the figures. So starting off with Alice and the White Rabbit. So she comes with a butter knife and a scatter gun. She also has wind up key in her back and as I've seen throughout these miniatures a gorgeous amount of details absolutely stunning from the petticoats down to the apron and her uh, little vials of I suppose eat me and drink me she's talking to a, a tiny caterpillar on the back of her hand there I say tiny, massive, but smaller than the one from the, uh, the actual book. The White Rabbit, you can see there, has got a watch in his hand. It is five to three, and I presume he is late. So it's a little steampunk White Rabbit. He's a simple two-part, the watch and forearms are one piece 
so they just glue onto the elbows. Really cute little model. So after Alice and the rabbit, we have Albert. So he's a cheeky cockney. Like how his uh, sweeps brushes have been replaced with cogs. A bit raggedy. But very nimble footed. Slight seam lines on him, but nothing egregious. A uh, bit of flash to clean up on the rear of his elbow. Maybe we'll see the square part there. But overall, a terrific miniature. Dancing from rooftop to rooftop. And who would he be dancing with? Who else but Maria Poppets? Oh, she's normally a bit more upright than that. But I, uh, she's still stable. I just wanted her to be a bit more floating. She has this remarkable umbrella which spirals up. Let's see there. That came in several sections. Um, it glues onto her parrot-headed parrot umbrella uh, shaft, I suppose. So that, there's a couple of pieces you need to marry up, um, which was fiddly, but not difficult. She's got her carpet bag here. You can see I've not cleaned off the uh, flash from beneath. That will be a little bit difficult to get to because there are raised edges on the bottom of this case. So you either go in carefully with a knife or a, um, a needle nosed file, or you can just flatten that bottom part if you don't particularly mind. Again, very intricate detail on the cogs and the like that are so indicative of steampunk. Exquisite detail on the face. Sculptors are absolutely superb for Twisted. She should paint up like a dream. So, enough of Maria. Let's move on to Mr. Ackroyd. With his alchemetic lance and trap. And this massive steampunk cog powered not proton pack on his back. Also, I think that's probably the thinnest that uh, Ackroyd has ever been. So, well done, him. Again, very simple build. Um, this pipe work that glues in the front and then to the rear of the pack and this hand at the elbow. He's got those, um, you'd often see them on like bank tellers in westerns, sort of like a cuff around the, uh, the bicep. So that's where they've chose to glue that on. So it should make masking that joint very easy. Beautiful model, really nice. Understated, I think is the phrase. Which is nice because you you get a nice mix with Twisted between the very over the top and then the relatively understated models. Here we have Zara Craft. So Zara is rocking two pistols, as is her want. Presumably off somewhere to steal something. It's a very nimble character. Again model and casting are great. This ponytail into the back of her head. Um, use a gel glue. I always use gel glues anyway, but there's not a huge amount of pinage between the, the, the hole for the hair to go into. 
so I think using a thin super glue may cause frustration and uh, some amount of swearing. But again, that very dynamic pose. I'm surprised Zara ended up with these and not with the Sign of the Sands robbing tombs in the desert. But there you go. So, next we have Tinkerbell, which is a genius play on the name. So, Tinkerbell is a fairy. She's got her fairy wings. Uh, but she's also got this massive wrench and uh, welding mask on because she's a tinkerer, as in somebody who plays around with mechanical parts and engines. And I think that is absolute genius. She does have a special ability called, I do believe, but apparently it's dice based like the rest of the game and doesn't just require you to clap, which is a, a crying shame because I would clap to keep Tinkerbell alive. Very, very intricate detailing on the uh, the lace work. Gorgeous. Now, Dorothy, the last of the metal miniatures from the set. Not in Kansas anymore. She does have her little terrier in a bag. I suppose possibly the wicker basket. And then that massive hurricane gun which can fire tornadoes. She is a witch hunter. Build-wise, this was practically one piece. So, um, gun and hand attached to this wrist and go over that shoulder and that's it. But as you can see, so much detail. Casting is just great. I have to say, I've been very, very impressed with the um, the casting because there's so much detail on these. If you do get a bad cast, it will be somewhat of a pain to clean it up, regardless of whether it's metal or resin. So they, uh, the cast, the caster is uh, top notch. There is still some clean up to do on them, but it's minimal. And in some cases, you could probably get away with using wire wool rather than having to uh, break out the files. This leaves us with the resin miniature, Zandi. So the only real difference with the, uh, the resins is just that extra level of crispness bouncing on a fish there. See this wicked I suppose it's a demi loon. Now, that is where it was connected to the sprue. And so I wasn't careful enough taking that off. So it flattened it somewhat. Now I can clean that up. That's not a major issue for me. But be aware. The uh, detail on this. I mean, the resins really bring out just how much detail there is on these miniatures. I suppose the metals aren't far off it, but there's just another level of just crispness. Just see all those folds and ruffles. The intricate little buckles. Gorgeous, gorgeous miniature. So that is the last of the Guild of Harmony. So there we have it, really unique set of figures from the Guild of Harmony. Um, I really love what they've done where you take things like uh, Florence Nightingale and, and give her steampunk bird wings because, you know, why not? Um, are you interested in getting into Twisted yourself? Demented Games have uh, been reaching out and now have several suppliers in the UK. So if you are interested in taking a look at the steampunk world, it's much easier to get now. Uh, also, all of the rules are available for free on their website. So let me know what you think of the Guild of Harmony and the world of Twisted. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong.
Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.